The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this video I want to show you how to use the stretch command. I have a simple machine part, it's a rectangle 4 inches by 2 inches and let's say that I want to make this 2 inches longer along the x-axis. I can use the stretch command to do that. The stretch command is located on the modify toolbar. It's this icon here. Uh, I can also find the stretch icon up here on the modify panel of the ribbon. Alright, so I'm going to pick on the stretch icon and at that point I'm prompted to select objects. Now the trick here is to use what's called a crossing window and a crossing window is a window where you pick from right to left so I've just picked a point above my view and I'm moving to the left and what a crossing window does is it selects everything that it touches and I'm going to come down here to the uh, lower left and pick so it's a right to left window at that point I'm still in the select objects uh, option and since I've selected the objects that I want to stretch I'm going to press enter now I'm asked for a base point. So I could come over here and pick a base point, let's say the midpoint of this line. Then I simply move in the direction that I want to go. Now you can see that I'm moving off at an angle. So what I want to do is come down here and turn ortho mode on. You can also do this by pressing F8. So I'm going to follow my polar tracking. I'm going to move to the right. I'm going to type 2 because I want to move 2 inches and press enter. Now you can see that it stretched my rectangle and not only that because my uh, dimension was included in my selection it even updated the dimension. I can do it again along the y-axis I'm going to pick select objects and remember I don't want to pick them individually and I don't want to pick them from left to right because if I do that all I'll be able to move is the top line. So I'm going to undo that. What I want to do is pick on stretch and do a crossing window so that's a right to left pick press enter, specify a base point, move in the direction that I want to go, and this time I'm going to go one inch and type enter, and so you can see that this changed to three inches but it kept the shape of my rectangle by doing that. Now I want to show you uh, how to use the stretch command on something a little more complicated. I have an architectural floor plan and uh, what if I wanted to move this wall two feet to the right? Alright, so here's what I would do. I would select the stretch command and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pick from right to left and I just want to get the objects inside this window. I don't want to get uh, the I mean, inside my selection window, not inside this front window that's right here. I can also get uh, the... Uh, I've got a couple of details inside the closet here. I'm going to press enter I'm going to pick a base point. I'll just pick a point on the side of the wall. I'm going to move in this direction. I'm going to type 2 and put a foot mark in and press enter. Alright, so you can see that I stretched the wall now. Because when I was doing that stretch, uh, I guess when I did my crossing window, I didn't completely get this electrical outlet, so it stretched those lines. So I might have to reinsert an electrical outlet there. Alright, so let's look up here and let's say that we want to move this entire area in here, this bath and closet, up two feet. Alright, I'm going to pick on the stretch command. I'm going to do a right to left stretch, or yeah, selection set. I'm going to come all the way to here. Press enter. Pick a base point. Move straight up. Type two feet. Press enter. And you can see that my dimension stretched and my bath and closet and everything also stretched as well. Alright, so that's how to apply the stretch command to an architectural plan.